How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be talking about Array Destructing in JavaScript. So it's similar to Object Destructing but it's with Arrays. So uh, you can basically just extract individual values from an array and put them in new variables. For example, if we have an array called numbers up top here with some values like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we want to actually get the number 1, 2 and 3 from this array we can do this using this syntax right here for example let 1, 2, 3 equals numbers now here what's happening is that we're defining three new variables 1, 2 and 3 which is equal to the values of 1, 2 and 3 so it sort of matches with the array in terms of like the order and we're assigning three new variables now if we log out one and then two and then three we'll just do this right now let's now refresh the browser and we see one two and three we can change these to you know something more interesting we can actually let's just say uh, like four thousand okay four hundred and three thousand and like seven hundred let's now refresh this one we see we get those now. So we're getting the first three elements of the array and putting them inside one, two, and three variables. We can also set default values for uh, these variables if the element doesn't exist in the array. So if we cut this array down to something like two elements, three no longer can be assigned to anything, yeah? But we can actually set a default value. So for example, if we do equals uh, 90 and refresh the browser we see 90 here but 90 obviously isn't inside here so it's getting the default value but then if we set a value like 70 up top here we see the actual value of 70 we can also return an array from a function and set it like this I'll just show you as an example so if we get rid of all this stuff right here make a new function called bottle yeah and this function returns an array of just say two strings like uh, bottle and then water. So now we can uh, set two new variables using this. We can say let's, I don't know, let's just do uh, red and blue equals bottle. I know the names don't really make sense, but just as an example, we can use red and blue. And now red is equal to bottle and blue equal to water because the function returns an array so it's the same thing but just for their function we can now log out red and blue hopefully we see bottle and water let's now refresh this one we see bottle and water perfect and that is the concept of array destructing in javascript thank you for watching see you later